my Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My mother immaculate, Saint Joseph, my father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me. My mother immaculate, these words really ring in my heart at this time because I'm making this prayer in Fatima. I had the benefit of being here for this week in prayer on retreat. And so these words, they, they really come to my heart and I invoked the maternal protection of Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We think of whenever she appeared in, in all her wonderful glory to the three simple shepherds and how the vision of Our Lady was what encouraged them and, and drew them irresistibly towards you, Jesus. And so we want to be drawn irresistibly towards you, Jesus, in that same way through the heart of Mary. And Mother, we ask that you will pray for us in this time, that we will be truly close to your son, Jesus. And we think of all our brothers and sisters in the United States who today celebrate Independence Day. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will you will give them a great day of, of freedom, a great day of enjoyment with their family and with their friends. But we know that we can never be independent from you. No, moreover, Jesus, we need you. We need you now more than ever. And the gospel from today's Mass speaks to us of our deep need of you. We read in Matthew's Gospel. Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. Without warning, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves were breaking right up over the boat. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are going down. And he said to them, why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that, he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this, even the winds and the sea obey him. Now, Jesus, at some time or another, we have all been on that boat. We've all been in situations where we feel the storms were breaking, breaking over the lake, and breaking into our boat too, feeling the, the lap of the water reaching right up to our faces and the winds that seem completely uncontrollable. And we find ourselves in situations that appear completely out of our control. We've just come through the end of term and it's a time of exams for most people in the world. And that's a time of intense pressure and stress. It's a time whenever we feel the, the winds lapping into the boat. And maybe it's the pressure of studies or trying to get things done towards the end. It's a real pressure. And Jesus, in these moments of panic and these moments of difficulty, and we find ourselves in situations that are a little bit out of our control at times. And there's times, maybe Jesus, when we faced illness in ourselves and we feel really the storms then. We really feel out of control, not knowing when healing will come. Maybe it's caring for another person, Jesus. Then we're really in that boat. Sometimes we're really struggling with that because we can't see where the port is. And we're doing our best to try and look after that person whom we love, who we care for. But we're not sure when it's going to end. And those are times of real panic. Whatever the situation is, there's many moments in our lives that are intensely stressful. And it's more than just stress. It's a feeling really of sometimes lack of control. And it's not really of our making. It's a situation that we find ourselves in. It's a situation that's kind of surrounding us. And as best we, we, we try, we just can't seem to get a solid footing. And then we find ourselves like the disciples sort of crying out, well, where are you, Jesus, in this moment? Where are you whenever I'm feeling out of control? Where are you whenever I'm feeling that sin really has a grasp on my life that's just too strong and I'm, I'm really struggling to overcome it? Where are you? And you can imagine the, the shock or the astonishment of the disciples 
to find that you are sleeping on the boat at the moment whenever it seems as if everything is going to be lost you are there asleep why aren't you there with us jesus why aren't you the one who's who's standing up to steer the boat right through the calm why aren't you the one shouting commands to to pull this rope or to to pull down that sail or to to pull the oar this side or to to push that way no you're asleep and that can be a little bit tricky for us to understand how can it be that you're asleep whenever we seem to need you the most um your response to that is not to do any of those things that i have just suggested which might sound like perfectly reasonable solutions to find ourselves in a storm you you do take control of the situation but not in the way that we imagine you rebuke the winds you calm the sea because you have the power lord jesus to do that and that's why you're asleep because you're not afraid of these material things you're not afraid of these elements even natural elements because you complete and total trust in god our heavenly father but jesus our hearts are are so small by comparison and we struggle sometimes to put our our trust in our heavenly father in the same way that you do but the control and the calm that you bring is the fruit of prayer it's the fruit of union with our heavenly father it's not worldly commands as we would have them and so jesus trying to find a way through this situation a way through the, the difficulties or the, or the storms where do we find you we find you in that calm loving presence with your heavenly father we find you in the eucharist we find you in the sacraments we find you in our hearts too we find you when we place our trust in you when we rest with you and we maybe put our heads down on the on the cushion as well and say well for whatever the situation i find myself in at the minute i'm putting my trust in you jesus and we're going to lie down here with you and enjoy the same peace that you will and now that would take a huge leap of faith i'm thinking of some of the times in my life whenever really i felt the storms to say that would be a big leap of faith but that's that's the opposite of our independence that's our complete and total dependence on you. And whilst it might manifest itself sometimes in a kind of a, a foolhardiness of just saying, well, just, I'm just going to trust Jesus on this one. That's actually a really deep faith. And that shows our deep dependence upon you, Jesus, that I'm not going to depend upon myself, number one. I'm not going to make plans that are going to flounder. I'm not going to issue commands or orders that I think should lead the way forward but i'm going to put my my trust completely and totally in you and that's the lesson also that your mother teaches us whenever they run out of wine in the at the wedding feast of cana which is a small thing by comparison her words to the servants are do whatever he tells you she put her trust completely and totally in you she was the only one that stood by you jesus on the on the way to calvary and at the cross because she put her trust completely and totally in you so that when you were the one that were facing the storms on calvary she was the one that had complete trust in you and so mary our mother immaculate help us to put our trust completely and totally in jesus your divine son just as you did help us to see that whatever storms we're facing in life that they can be weathered with jesus who is really in control who's really in charge jesus we give you our heart we give you our lives we give you even our freedom and our independence that you will really see it to its right end which is in your goodness which is in your peace which is in your truth help us jesus this day to realize our complete and total dependence upon you i give you thanks my god for the good resolutions affections and inspirations that you have communicated to me during this meditation i ask your help to put them into effect my mother immaculate Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my guardian angel, intercede for me.